Hi everybody, my name is Ms. G and I'm an art teacher and an artist just like you. Isn't it neat how nature uses art, line, shape, and color to create its designs? These designs have a purpose. They help nature survive and thrive, live and grow. Have you ever looked at an insect closely? They sure are creative. Look at the lines and shapes and colors on these insects. What types of shapes do you see? I see circles and triangles and rectangles. I also see curvy lines and diagonal lines, thick and thin lines. And how about these colors? Greens and blues and reds and browns. Nature sure is creative. Nature also has a great imagination. Nature creates different tools like many eyes or wings or different types of hairs so that it can see, hear, feel, and taste. So that it can survive and thrive. So that it can live and grow. Could you use your creativity, your art and imagination to design and create a new insect or animal for nature? How can you use line, shape, and color to communicate your idea? Today, I'm going to use the inspiration I collected from looking closely at nature to design my own imagined insect. I'm going to create something new for nature. I'm going to think about how I can use colors that blend into or hide in natural environments. I'm going to add wings to help it fly to different places and quickly escape predators. I'm going to add big eyes to help it see details clearly. And I'm going to add spikes to its legs and feet so that it can grip onto slippery surfaces. And I'm going to add a long mouth to help it get its food from the inside of the flower. What will you create for nature? What might you name your insect or animal? How does your imagined creature survive and thrive in nature? My imagined insect's name is the Baylander Buzzer. The Baylander Buzzer survives and thrives in nature by eating nutrients from the inside of flowers. These flowers grow in the grasses by the ocean off of San Francisco Bay. The Baylander Buzzard has colors on its body that help it blend into the greens of the grasses and the blues of the ocean. What a beautiful place to survive and thrive. Could you share your art, your imaginary creature with someone in your life? Could you teach someone how to look closely at nature, gather inspiration, use their own imagination to create an insect or animal of their own? We at SF Loves Learning love to see what you've created. You can share your art with us by following the link to our website or by taking a picture of the QR code. Doesn't nature make some smart art? I had such a great time with you today exploring how nature uses line, shape, and color to create insects and animals that can survive and thrive, live and grow in their environment. Now, let's go make some more art.